You see it in countless movies. You have a character that goes through something. He gets denied by women, he has no friends, he's very unsocial, he's very anxious, he's very awkward, and he seems to be treading through a swamp of life. But then something happens. Something inside of him happens. And then you see a story development. You see him change. Ultimately, you see him on top of the world at one point in the movie. But through a lot of those movies and stories, the character will start making those changes by saying he wants this. He wants this to change. He wants this item. He says if he gets this because he wants it so badly that it will change his life. He needs this. He wants this. Why is he saying he wants it? It's just a useless word to say. It's nothing you can rely on because it's just a word. And it's literally just fanning what's really going on. Because everyone goes through hardships. Everyone does. At one point or another, everyone goes through it. Some people go through it longer. Some people go through it less longer. But everyone goes through it. And everyone wants a quick fix. So what do they do? They say they need this. They want this to happen so that they can get out of this funk as quickly as possible. I need to quickly fix this so I can get back onto my life. But that want is not really what's making the change. It's you relying on yourself to change, becoming a different person. When we say it like that, why is the word want even useful? It's you becoming something. It's a push. It's a break out of the cocoon that you were trapped in. It's a shift. One of my favorite books I love to read is The Shift by Wayne Dyer. I'm going to link a link down below for the audiobook. This isn't sponsored or anything, it's just me giving out a gift that would really treat you as a gift as well. I want to apologize, it's not The Shift by Wayne Dyer, it's Making the Shift by Wayne Dyer. He does have a book called The Shift though, I believe it's a movie also. Anyways, link down below, check it out, it'll really open your eyes. Throughout that book, Wayne has discussed that you get to a certain point where you have a meaning in your life, and being unhappy or happy about that meaning doesn't even matter because you know what you're going for, and you're unperturbed by what else is happening. Those wants become instincts. They become changes. They shift you. They shift your self-conscious. And then you start to have the thought process of something is helping you move along, that you're picking up on signs. You take a step back and realize what is right in front of you. What is at my disposal to make me move forward? How did that get there? Wow, that just showed up out of nowhere. See what happens when you just step back and just look around. Other than I want this, I need this, this is all that's in my head is I need it, I need it. I need it. A great film has this example as well. The movie Big Fish by Tim Burton. A little corny. It is a great example of this throughout the whole movie, the whole plot. The story about the guy's dad who's old now and lived a fulfillment life of doing what he wanted to do that felt right to him, that felt like a calling. All this unexplainable stuff happened through his life. Obviously the name of the movie, Big Fish, Big Fish or Big Lies. But through that whole film, you don't see that main character, the guy's dad when he was younger, act like he needed something through this. He wants this. He needs this to happen. No, you see him be very present and just move forward. And as he's doing that, stuff in his life that has happened came to him. And when he felt something that needed to get done, he just moved forward with it and just let life do its thing. And if you see different characters in the background of that movie, they want something. They want to be like him and they strive to be like him and they're jealous and they're anxious and it just doesn't work out well for him. It's a pretty good film. It actually kind of reminded me of my dad almost because he kind of acts just like the old guy. So don't just want something, become the wants. Don't just anchor on that you need this and know yourself brain dead that you need this or it's not gonna end up well because if you're putting that, that message, it's not gonna end up well. It's not gonna end up well. That's why your wants need to become you. You need something in life, don't even say it. Don't even talk about it. Do, and it will happen.